All right, we're on, we're on. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are live here in the Israel right, across it. winter bubble. I am your host for this afternoon's championship affair featuring the Ashkelon Fighting Olives and the Stroke Stuntman. This, the culmination of weeks of hard work, practice, grit, and grind, and it all comes down to this. Harry Friedman is the opening draw against uh, Harry Tepper. Friedman with the opening face-off draw win against Justin Tepper, and that will set up the stuntman on offense. Here's John Luke Chetner working the wheel over to Snell. He's in the out. Lapin. Two, one. Now everybody getting a touch. Here's back to Chetner. Yakov Serbalik buried on the crease, looking to pop around Sam Trajan. The ball is loose. Lots of action in the corner for the first GB of the game. Matt Flapin gets the ball, flicks it up to Yakov Serbalik, who shoots on Ben Friedman. And he makes quick work of that off stick, high save. Black with the clear. Good oh, save by Ben Friedman. A tough ball thrown away, and that's going to roll all the way from goalie to goalie. We rarely see that this early in a game. And that's Dylan Teitelbaum with a full field clear, and that goes back to black. We've got a lot of back and forth of lacrosse. This is like a tennis match here early, Justin. Sam Trajano works down the alley to Ben Cookie Cook. Swings it through Luber, got the X over to Bo Chetner. And it's Charlie Ratner celebrating a birthday. Zalto. And working in the offense, a big mazel to Chuck. And let's see if he's got a little birthday magic. I wonder what he wished for. <laughs> Justin, I, I bet it was a championship hoisting game today. I agree. Here's Charlie. Oh, and he nearly blew out the candles on that one, but he rings it off the post. Great shot. Black well, Pipe's the goalie's best friend. Black was easily the closer there. And there was a rip. That one was by Chuck, his second one. Wow, he really wants to get on the board today, doesn't he? Ashkelon's offense, total firing squad. Here's Cook. Keep shooting until it goes in. To Wolper, a notoriously hot starter. Chetner, a silent assassin. Lou Bird to Cookie. Here's Trajano and now Wolpert back at the top. This open wheel for Black working quickly. Chuck drawing. Sees Wolpert at the top. Hands free. Will he let one fly? No, that'll be chucked over to Trajano. Who S is in and through and he dives and he puts one past Dylan Teitelbaum. An acrobatic first goal of this game. Sick. Wow, all you can say is wow, Justin. What does the goalie have there? Amazing crease dive by Shlomo. Gets it past Dylan. Title bomb. Nothing she can do about that one. Excellent shot. Excellent I think that's finish. Shlomo's signature move. And that I will think. open up the floodgates. Absolutely. Some commentary from our field correspondent <laughs> and camera operator, Sarah Meisenberg. She is excellent with the commentary, and she's absolutely right. She knows these players better than anyone, and that's exactly yeah, I what live, you can expect. I got insider. I lived with Shlomo last year for a whole year. His diet consists of apples and granola bars. All the international man. <laughs> That's the hard-hitting reporting you can only get here in the intimacy of the Israel <laughs> Premier Lacrosse winter League bubble. winter bubble. Now Stero, back on offense. Here's Yakov Silverman. Silverlick likes his matchup on Sussman. Sussman, a converted D-mid, now carrying a long pole. Here's a flip. It's to Orion Hodgeby, and that is blocked by Sussman. A profound defensive effort. John Luke Chetner trying to get to the ball, but he doesn't. And it's Tepper in transition. Doesn't make it work, and that one was tipped away. It'll stay with the block. What's that? What's that? What's Ashkelon struggling to slow the ball down and maintain possession. They're really looking for those fast break goals. Really Nate LaPasse. Undoubtedly wants to take. Nate LaPasse is a prolific scorer. Cook to Berg. Berg fighting off some serious defense. And that defense pushes him out of bounds. And that 
is another match goal on turnover. Sarov needing to clear the entire length of the field. Great Kai check. Solomon gets trail checked, and that'll roll up to John Luke Chetner with the GB. Doesn't matter how you do it, it's that you do it, and the Strode offense won't complain about another possession. John Luke Chetner, Strode star player. Expect him to make some big plays tonight. And with some renewed attention into this offense, John Luke, of course, missing the last game. Here's Yakov Silverlich just toying with Justin Tepper. Tepper all over him. Here's a switch. It's Lapat. And Yako lets one fly and he bangs a second shot off the pipe. That is unlucky. Maureen oh. Hodgby gets absolutely crunched by Wolford and Tepper. An Orion Hodgby sandwich Stroke. served up with a side of Jacques Noon. Stroke expecting that to be a flag. They're going to have to make the best of it. No flag on the play. It's Silver Lick to Flapin. Down to Snell. There's Chetner. Chetner sees Lazar. Ritter. There's Yakov. Flapin likes his time against Wolper. Sussman comes out to close that. And nothing doing. Here's Chetner. All regarding Chetner. Oh, that looks like a moving pick not called against Matt Flapin. A flip from Chetner to Flapin. And that's a goal! Absolutely put through by Matthew the Jive Turkey Flapin. That man can do it all. I've got to tell you, the refs have swallowed their whistles early in this contest. There was the no call here on the close sideline on that crunching hit against Hodgby. The no call in what looked to be a clear moving pick that was maybe never fully set or even attempted by Flapin. Refs decide no call and Starot ends up evening it up and taking advantage of the pace of play. Flapin Friedman. Flavin uses his big size to his advantage, able to uh, bully, attack, er, bully defenders and get him to shoot. Here's another face off. It's Friedman. Gets it to Solomon. Solomon is over. And make no mistake, that is a six foot long pole and a goal sto scoring threat attached to the other end of it. Ty Solomon, every six now. goals for a pole. Last week's defensive player of the week. And the 1 4, or at least the high dodge, it's off to Simbler. Snell flips back to Simbler. He would have gotten crushed if he handled that one. Here's Tepper. Some slap checks, some hard checks. And that one's over. Another GB. Ashlong, the double. They call Omer over and through and pushed violently out of bounds by the birthday boy, Chuck Ratner. No shortage of aggression here at the start of the game. Omer, he's rattled! Here's Chetner to Silverlick. Silverlick. Silverlick, full dodging. Flips it back, and that's off an Ashkelon stick. Slays with a free hand, and the referee swallows that one. Yes, uh, Seems like they're going to let the kids play today, and that was John Luke Chetner letting one rip, and that goes wide. Here's the backside look, and it's a quick finish, but it doesn't do it, and Simba looks like he might have stepped into the crease on that one, and he does. The ball goes back to Dubner, who sees the Friedman in the crease. Friedman walks the ball up and gets it to Ratner. Ratner with his fifth touch of the game. Friedman. Friedman patient on that clear international play on the time. Friedman sees a man over the box. Locks up means that they're going to bring a new man on. It's Trajano. Hot out of the gates in a full-on race for John through to the offensive zone. Bird to Cook. Cook spins to Chetner. Chetner to Nate the Great Lapat. Chuck getting camped on his left, daring to go right. Here's Lou Bird. Here's Cook. Chetner and Lapat, and they'll do it again. Ratner's looking to go north south. Camping left is Flapin. 
feeds to a pat down to Chetner, who drops it in. Oh, he barely sneaks it in over the edge. That was a tough, tough one to stop for Tylebaum. I mean, it was right in her grill and barely trickled in. What did you see there, Justin? Great shot by both Chetner. <laughs> Small angle. He can bury it. Tylebaum had a piece of it. But it knocked off the stick and trickled in. Unfortunate goal for Sturro. Lucky play for Ashkelon. Well, and that'll take us to the next face-off. Now, both offense have gotten there themselves through and, and worked on the scoreboard. Looks like five minutes right on the clock. Morty Silver on the wing makes his first appearance of the game. He's That's a big right. difference maker in the earlier game against Rexaleo. It's Max Mordecai Silverlick, number 72 in Levon, with a GB in his first action. Dangerous player, rocks the box helmet to let people know that he's here to brawl. If you get in his grill like that, here's Snell working the corner. Snell sees the field. Wants to take Dubner. Dubner sporting a voracious mohawk. I wouldn't want to take on him if I were you. Here's Silverlick. And there's Hodgeby. A look from the top, north south. Geva on to defend. A quick slide from Tepper. Is there something open on the backside? Absolutely is. And the opportunity is not made the most of by the Fighting Olives. And that ball is going to go back to Storo. Great feed by Elon Schuster. Storo couldn't finish that one. Another one, another take. Keep them coming, says Ben Friedman. You can throw the ball past me all day long. Mordechai. Ashkelon defense has got pretty lucky. Stroh missed the goal on a couple of good shots. Absolutely, the scoring chances. Stroh is by far outnumbering them, although the scoreboard is all that really matters here in this championship game. Here's Hodgeby, fully feeling himself, and kicks to Chetner. Chetner guarded by Seth Mahler. Better in matchup right there. Absolutely a, a, a superstar on this field altogether, but Chetner and Mahler is, is truly a hot contest to watch. And here comes Ben Friedman racing up the sideline, gets the GB, not afraid to jump across, and will they stay on sides? It looks like it. Here's Black trying to retain possession after that Ben Friedman clear, but it ends up in the stick of Dylan Teilbaum, who knows exactly what to do with it. There's a mess of players in the wake of Zach Collin as he crosses the 50, gets down to Chetner, and Flapin with the acrobatic catch, decides he wants a look, goes all the way through, gets popped on the crease. Flapin kept that one for himself. Yeah, that was a punch that he took. Wonder if, now settles in offense. I wonder if Justin Flapin is going to think twice about going through the throat of that defense next time. Flapin's signature moves, bullying his way to the cage, didn't work there. Asquan now possesses the ball in an open set. And speaking of bullying, as this Ashkelon offense works the ball around, we see Evan Wolper ready to strike, afraid of no man, which is why he draws the matchup against Yakov Silverleck. And Evan's going to want to take advantage of that one. Goes through, feeds to the X. Cookie with a turnaround and rip. Ill-advised, low-angle jump shot. I'll tell you, it would have looked nice on film if it went, but it'll be a restart with Black. Backside pass to Luberg was on the crease, then in the crease. And now the ball is going back to the white and green. Colin, with 90 seconds left in the period. Dancing, dancing, sees the double team, swims, and he's a one-man show as he kicks it to Silverlake. Great clear by Zach Jury. White on offense, trying to even it up before the end of the quarter. One minute remaining. It's Silverlake. Chetner. Silverlink with a lot of green space between him and the goal and only Jake Susserman to go through. Seth Mahler on D. Whipped around to Morgan. 
Morty back to his pass. brother Yakov. Yakov wants to run, loves that rollback sweep. Let's see if he gets it. And the scouting report is out on him because Chuck Ratner is there to try to stop him off. But wow, Zillalik will fight through that one all the way. That is a big boy, spends a lot of time in the gym, definitely eats his knees, Justin. Oh, quick feet inside, but knocked down by an actual stick. Morty with time and space lets one rip, almost goes through the cross of Ben Friedman with the Gilman pass as time ticks by and that one will be over I'm not going to call that a shot it looked like Ben Friedman was going for the goal Good Mike Solomon is going to look to match it and there's a full <laughs> gonna go? fielder oh. and it was nearly deflected into the cage by John Luke Shetner but that will be the end for us here in the first piece. <laughs> All right, we're back. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, Fleep. <laughs> Fleep's a fan favorite. <laughs> All right, we're back for second quarter championship game. We are back live here in the eye of the storm. Black. Justin Tepper, White, Harry Friedman. A versus battle that ends up with a Jake Sobolik ground ball. And Jake points to the band and asks them to quiet down as the mom stands on the bus. Silverlick conducting the band and the offense as he flips to Flapin. Flapin, wow, gets crunched by the aggressive play of Chuck Ratner. Flapin shakes off all those checks. Lots and lots of aggressive play there. Stroh has a high powered offense. Built the defending better. They look to make their presence known. And the young bucks on the uh, basketball. Here's Morty. Let's see what he'll do with the ball. Flips. When we see one rip, it's past Friedman and it will stay in possession of White. Good shot by Elon Schuster. Goes just wide. And with the reset, Shatner's going to look to do something crazy. Oh, and he tries it. It goes off the side of the net. You know when Shetner gets big eyes like that, he's about to do something wild. Here's Mahler. Got plenty of options to pass to. White sitting back in his own so on this ride. Goes back to Ben Friedman. He was on the Senate. Friedman to Arik Rubenstein. To wow, Sam Trajano draws a, what will be a 30 second push with possession. And now Black's gotta make an attempt at goal. Ball down. And that ball hits the ground. And we will be seeing a man into the box. That's Zach Cullen about to serve 30. Watching the Ashland man up. Shlomo move in and out, try to get them to switch from five man to a man rotation. in and through, and he throws it off the leg of Dylan Teitelbaum. Now, Shlomo got all the way through, you uh, made it to the Cajun, and, and just didn't quite have enough left. Couldn't get enough leverage and torque on that stick. Uh, and that's all you get. Here's if you're a on offense, of the keeper. Can you put the... Sorry, I have Evan a question. If you're on offense, can you put your stick, like, in the crease? Yes. Um, yeah. Really? Yeah, underneath the goalie. Here's Tights with a man all over, and it's Shlomo in the back. And was oh, that Oh my God! Yakov Sobolik with an unbelievable momentum changing save in net. Jocko Sobolik is out of the cage and it turns around. That was an unbelievable momentum changer. Title bomb out of the cage. Silverlick putting it all on the line. His bait seam on the line, if you will to stop that shot, the direction swings the other way, and it's his older brother, 
Mordecai with the finish. Unbelievable play of events. An early contender for a play of the game. Justin, what did you think? The Silver Lights are definitely making their case for the best pair of siblings in the IPLL. Yakov, do it all player, makes a save, creates transition, and gets it to his brother Morty. Quick save, uh, give him a dunk goal. And now the game's tied. Unbelievable effort by the Silver Lights brothers. No doubt that that play is going to inject a lot of emotion into this game. Mr. Rory, has an energy win. On another win. win. Here's Hodgman to Lazar. Lazar Reiter looks to spin it to John Luke. Lazar. Lazar the laser. To Oreen Hodgby. Oreen wants to go north south, gets it to Chetner. Seth Lawler with impressive defense, like a statue there. With John Luke Chetner's powerful shot staring him down, he couldn't get Mahler to flinch. Will he stand up in front of it again? Oh, and Chetner takes a shot that just misses the cage. It's Ashbourne with possession now. Justin Tepper with wheels. Sammy Dubner without wheels. And it seems like yeah, there might have been a man off. There's Cullen. As the chaos is calmed, what looks like they're going to slow down. The White made the most of their opportunities in transition and first takes. Let's see if Flapen wants to continue that trend with a, a bounce pass half shot. To... Well, it looks like there was a lot of action there and, and some some nonsense maybe. I saw, I think it was Susserman who now possesses the ball, slapped the ball out of a stick of a white attacker in the middle of the play and that just goes to, to show you that these teams while they might respect each other they are not ready to back down absolutely stepped over those years of tap dance I'm, cool. I'm not sure that the referee saw that one and, and in fact if you got a good look at the zoom in on Morty's helmet he was very surprised that he didn't get called. And here's Wolpert with a take. Yeah. Wolpert knows where he's down the alley, kind of high shot. Definitely catches up, always off guard, thinking he's going low and away. LaPat, working from X, rolling back, rolling back. And it's picked up by Pock. Pock flips it behind himself I to Tights. Tights playing the ball out of the cage again, showing that. She's not afraid. And here's Kai Solomon. Solomon to Chetner. Chetner on the corner, and there's some off-ball action. Looks like no matter where on the field Chuck Ratner is, he's going to have a big, heavy piece of wood to lay lumber on anybody who comes near him on the white side. Here is Yaakov Silverlick. White, having slowed the play down. There's Simler. Thought he had an alley look, but it became a Dodger and Snell. Now, Similar takes a pop from Wolper. A roll back, a slide, a left through. Wow, that was a great slide and, and a, a cut through. It was a shot that ended up going right into the throw. A bunching, wow, an ankle breaking move by Chuck Ratner, the birthday kid. And if we know Yakov Silverlick at all, he didn't like that one bit, and you're going to see him. Ascalon definitely the moves of his own, and let's see what the penalty was there. That looks like a slash by Jake Susserman, who will serve one minute in the box. Ascalon, the fan favorites, they're definitely feeding off the crowd's energy. Well, the hometown team is doing their best to capitalize on that momentum. Here's Yakov Silverlick over to Flapin, to Chetner, to Morty, who jumps in and scores again. Morty Silverick with the inside shot. Beats Ben Friedman. Second of the day. Morty, Morty. With another finish.
What a great game we have here today, Justin, wouldn't you say so? Definitely a thriller. Thrilled with the early 3-2 lead. And how about that Israel Lacrosse Association pep band? Definitely a personal favorite. Playing all the hits and missing none of the notes. And Friedman wins the draw. And Although Todd Susserman, who has served his time there. in the box, now that we're even strength, goes back on the strip, and it is Ash the long ball. Well, Pat loves his matchup, weaves in, wins the shot, lets one fly, and it goes right off the hand. Ouch! Of Dylan Teitelbaum, and if you get a good look at the keeper, she's going to have to shake that one off. Chetner cutting through, and the ball goes back to Cook. Here's LaPat. Tepper lets him find he rings it off the post himself. Here's Wilpert. Mike's your goalie's best friend. Here's Shalomo. Sees Hodgby. Hodgby gets broken down after his breakdown, but bailed out by Tidalbaum. Tight steps out, passes to Kai, her safety net. Kai's going to carry it over as he loves to do. Oh, goes for body and not ball. And he's got some serious carnage at the midfield line. No over and back. There's Cook with the ball. Yup, no over and back. Offensive possession was never established in the zone. And Ashgon's now got the ball. It's a feed through to Tepper, who manages to avoid stepping into the crease as Tidalbaum gets the ball back. Not sure what she wants to do with it. Cullen in the middle gets slapped out by Chetner, and that's a turnover by Ashkelon. And here's Tepper, weaving, gets Amanda Wince. Wow! You rarely see that. Somebody who plays defense at, for a living, shying away from the opportunity to soak up a shot and bail out the goaltender, getting very lucky. The Ashbon uh, fighting Olive with that opportunity, but let's see if they can make an exit of this one. The play is blown dead. It looked like it was an illegal pick, except for Evan Wolpert, who let one fly that could have been going 100 miles an hour. Easy. Let's see if Cullen wants to go coast to coast again. Only one man to beat, but gets it over. To a pull. They'll leave the man alone. Looks like a 10 man ride. But Pat, number one of that 10 man, and the ball gets up to Chetner. Chetner lobs one into Flapin, who spins and shoots and throws it right in the trap of Friedman. That ball got kicked after the play as Flapin fell into the cage. There's a clear that comes. It's free for Friedman. It was nearly kicked into the goal. And I think, Justin, that that one might have counted if it went in. Oh, uh, for sure. Flapin just needs a little more time to aim that shot. He's hit Ben Friedman right in the chest. LePat creates some time in his own post for some trickeration with the twister shot aiming for that bottom right corner. But it doesn't happen for him. And White what? smartly collects themselves time out. and calls a timeout. It's a boy. All right. I need. Here's Tepper with the ball. Sees Chuck backside. He's going to let one fly. Oh, no, he it's doesn't. Okay. Everybody it's in the stadium so thought fair. that Chuck was going to go low to high there. Oh. Ashkelon cares more about oh. possessing cleanly out of a timeout. The the Yoter call. There's Chuck. Oh. There's Tepper running in, and he lets one fly, and fireworks burst out of the stadium. Justin Tepper, great down the alley shot, backside corner, no goalie saving that one. Excellent placement. Now you're absolutely right, Mr. Cold. Claire, there is no way will you get my that blue sweater that's hanging up down there? Like that. What? My blue sweater is hanging all the way down there by my stick. Like at the end, Claire, look. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you and say? two minutes two remain minutes. Stay up up. here in quarter number two. We're tied. Stuntman three. 
Fighting Olives, three. And Harry Friedman with another face-off win. Here's Yakov Silverlich. Toda. Red Sede. <laughs> Yaakov Silberlich taking advantage of many of the Israeli players and, and Israeli nationals on his team by speaking in Hebrew. That's a fan pass that was supposed to be rocking it in, and it goes right to Tepper. Let's see if he's got the magic twice. Tepper thought about going to goal there. Pass is disrupted by Sturro. Well, ends up no trouble. And here's Wolper. With 60 seconds left. You've got Lapat at the X. Oh, Shlomo was creeping towards the cage, but Lapat didn't see him. Here's Wolper. Knows he can no go north south. Hodgby's had a hard time with Dodgers from this area of the field today. Thirty seconds. Here's Wolfer to Trujano. Trujano to Wolfer. Wolfer looks like he's calling his own number. Wants to draw a man and dump to the middle. Skip pass. There's Ratner. Rolls. Let's one fly and he pins it down right inside the pipe. Puts it far. That's really, really tough to get to. And it's Chuck Ratner blowing out a birthday candle. That boy's wish came true when he wound up to take that shot, Justin. Yes, the crowd's singing happy birthday and celebration of his goal. Big goal heading at the halftime. Can you feel yourself with the two different colors, please? Note that Chuck is wearing two different color cleats. Why? Fans are chirping him about that. Who does that? <laughs> I guess if they're exactly the same. Half time? And yeah. that takes us all, right. all the way to the Ready? Whistle that brings the second half into play. Cues the face off. That one is another win by Harry Friedman. Gets to Yakov Silver. And this white works. We'll see if they can erase the one goal lead and get us back to a tie game. Beautiful weather here in Asheville, 65 degrees. Absolute cold in the afternoon. Beautiful day. To be honest, Justin, we talked earlier about getting me some sunscreen, and that never happened. And that is going to make me a very crabby crab later today. <laughs> very red lobster. That's, <laughs> that's probably what I should have said, red lobster. Thank you. And red lobster is not one of our sponsors, so we should really just say crabby crab. We are sponsored by the Krusty Krab, however. Get your Krabby Patties today. Here's Benjamin Cookie Cook carrying into his offensive zone. Gets a touch and it's Nate Lapat inverted to the midfield. Looks like you've got Evan Wolpert now at the X. Mirroring the pack. Here's Rat. Chuck calling his own number. Loves this matchup against Simbler. Runs the alley and gets checked by Simbler, not to be underestimated. Simbler, great defensive play to cut it off, but Chuck doesn't care. He wants a piece. Simbler, normally an attackman, coming up big on defense. Cook. cook lets one fly, and it goes out of the park. We're never going to get that lacrosse ball back. Put it on our tab. Here's Chuck up to Lapath. Chuck wants another take on Simler. I think he wants to take on the entire team, but he gets it over to Lou Berg, who scores. 
and they're playing the Lou Bird theme song out of the band. Wow, everybody knows Lou Berg and everybody loves Lou Berg and that's why everybody plays the Lou Berg anthem when he scores goals. Great inside shot by Lou Berg. Putting Ashland up to great everything by Lou Berg when you think about it. Great hair, great guy, great beach volleyball player. Beach volleyball, good smile. You should see his team picture. Speaking of great, this great game is sponsored by Aroma Coffee, the greatest coffee in all of Ashland. There's some body work there on the face-off. It's Friedman. He's got chasers, but they won't find him as he gets the ball down to John Luke Chetner. Chetner working with a two-goal lead. And we've got Flapin. Flapin to Soberlet. Flapin has had success going north-south. Tepper might not be the guy to do it on. Fancies himself a defensive mid. Dubner on to defend. And wow, that one goes clean off the grill piece of goaltender Ben Friedman. But John Luke jumps in and intercepts the rebound that was meant to get flicked back to him. Ash, a great second chance opportunity by Sparrow. And down two goals now. They really owe it to themselves to make the most of it. Big save by Friedman. Keeps the lead at two. Ashlon has to work hard. Stero with corner. the matchup. Oh, that was blocked by Seth Mahler. Flapin went to rip, but it wasn't there. Sterot on the reset. Spins to Silverman. Time he calls his own number, but he cradles it out of his own stick. Well, it's John Luke on to rescue. We talk so often about John Luke's field vision. John Luke, also a forward from NLL's New York Riptide. Huge impact player for Stero in their run to the championship game. Yes, uh, John Luke played for the Riptide last season. He's actually most recently signed on with the New England Black Wolves. So he'll be bringing his talents to South Connecticut in the spring season, but he's got one last game to take his team through down two goals. It's the Starot Stuckman, Wolpert at the X. Ball spun up to Ratner. Ratner on Flapin. This is a great matchup for the fans at home. And Ratner lets one fly. Flavin got caught on his heels. Ratner knew he had a quick window to do it, and he tucked it away where no goalie can see it. Down in the bottom corner, that was tough for Tuttlebaum, but the defense looks to be responding well to that. Now their lead is, uh, or they're, they're chasing a three goal lead with only three goals of their own. They've double up their effort so far, and the urgency needs to get uh, picked up here. You see, Captain and uh, assistant coach Mordecai Silverlick trying to pump up the team, getting ready to race in and taking a defensive stand on the wing. Although it seems all but foregone the conclusion of this faceoff, that it'll end up in the stick of, ben, of uh, Harry Friedman. And it does. And Silverlick swarms. Got it, thank you. Frozen coffee, good. White is in for another possession. There's Mordecai. Spins the snap. Works it around to Silverlin. To Reader. To Mordecai Silverlin. Will he swim the shorter man? No, he goes with a split dodge to his left. Swings back to a trailer, it's Lazar. Dolev Geva avoids contact and lets Yakov Silverlick win the GB. Dolev Geva, oh, Ashkelon native. Normally plays for Team Ashkelon. Shetner at the top left. He's had a quiet day against Seth Mahler and no surprise there. Mahler playing great defense. Morty lets one fly. It looked like it went off an ankle. That's going to stay. Strode ball. 
We've got a, another reset, a break in the play as the referees gather to figure out what exactly happened on that one. I saw a shot. It looked like it got blocked as the deflection came out of bounds. White was closest to it. So I think the momentum of the shot qualified that to stay as a, uh, a possession shot that didn't go across the end line. Here's Snell. To Mordecai Sober. Backside's open. Let's rip and it hits Ben Friedman right in the bait seam. He's going to have a hard time getting his bait seam to the sky after that rip. His hammies are hurting behind the momentum of that shot. And here's Nate Lapat carrying the ball over, looking for a man to bail him out. Could it be going cross field to an open Eric Rubenshine? No, he gets it to Bo Chetner on the banana cut and carry down the wing. Chetner to Ratner. Ratner, a year older and a year wiser and a goal under his belt. Let's see if he works for another. Lapat. Draws, dumps, but Mordecai Silverlick, a former goaltender, basically stuffing Lapat on the crease in the middle of the field. And here's Flapin, dodging through, north-south, and it goes in past a diving Ben Friedman, maybe still nursing his wounds after that last shot that he ate up. Justin, tell me what it's like to take a ball off the body and be hurting as the next shot comes across. How does that affect you as a as a player? It's very difficult to reset the next shot after that. You have to put in a little pain. Sometimes you have to put an easy goal when you hurt. Well, but that was a very good shot. Yeah, not to discredit the goal scorer, Matt Flapin, but uh, it was definitely a, a certain degree of nuance as they say here in the bubble on that shot and score. Here's Cookie. To Ratner. Ratner in alone. Will he dunk it? He just puts it past a little too fancy. I think he got as close as he possibly could and then showed the highest degree of difficulty shot that he could muster. Maybe just a little too excited. Sometimes as an offensive player, you look to make the cool play over the smart play. No, you're absolutely right, and, and goalies love that. Crossfield Huck. Oh, and it skims off the plastic. Kai Solomon's going to beat himself up over that. He better forget quickly because now he's got to defend Justin Tepper. A bounce pass to Evan Wolper. What is this, a basketball game? Well, here's Wolpert going down the alley and carrying to the X where he's most comfortable. Let's Wolpert see if we can hit, get hit to rock back and forth. Wolpert one way and then the other. And spins back and it's high. Gets through to Cook. Good spin move. Cook's going to want to spin it inside to Wolpert. Deflected. Yeah, shot never quite matriculated. Shlomo dodging from X. No one's on him. Feet Shlomo inside. puts it in to Berg with his second goal of the contest. A great finish by Lewis Berg. Listen to that bad play. We are in the third quarter with 11 goals behind us. This makes it the lucky 13th face off of the game. And lucky indeed is Harry Friedman as he rips it in. Not quite lucky enough to get it past Ben Friedman. No relation as Ashkelon goes back in the other direction. Here's Tepper with Hodgby on his heels. Trail checkers and it's not quite enough of an effort 
to get past Kyle Baum. There's a little bit of a change-up pop, and back the other way. Here's Chetner with the beautiful finish. That play was all Kyle Baum. Gets the ball in their stick, launches it 60 yards. Good morning. 40 feet inside for a big goal. You are absolutely right, Justin. The strongest part of Dylan Teitelbaum's game is how quickly after a save she's ready to create offense. And you can tell she's feeling herself now. Slapping pipes, throwing dimes. That's Dylan tight. And she gets it every time. Big, big momentum booster for Snero. Huge. Much needed. As many people say, lacrosse is one in the third quarter. Absolutely huge. Oh, and Temper wins that face Friedman off. Friedman thought that he had that face off one. Now it'll be Temper. Gets the cook who lets one fly. Oh, oh, Ouch! Goes off the rib of Dylan Teitelman and she instantly goes to nurse the wound, but she's going to have to do a little bit more work as Black retains possession here. Teitelman needs a defensive stand. There's a flag down and a rip by Cook, and that ball is going to be dead. Good save and by title bomb. Wallace on the call. Looks like a, is that a hold that brought the player to the ground. Looks like it's going to be a technical 30. Bo Chetner with a rock. Ball restarts with Ben Cook as the wind picks up here in Ashville Park. Chetner to LaPat, to Tepper, to LaPat, to Chetner. Head fake, skips to, oh, oh, Justin Tepper lets one fly. There's not a chance that Teitelbaum could have seen that with a defender all up in Tepper's grill. Tepper with an absolute rocket, stings the left pipe. Piping in, excellent shot by Tepper as he extends Ashlong's lead. Jada, how much was it? There is one minute left in this, the third quarter. Now, Ash has got a three goal lead. The score is eight to five. And Starot benefits from a face off infraction. Starot known to their fourth quarter comeback to see if they can get another one today. Absolutely are. And, and really, what Starot needs to be doing is making that comeback effort in the fourth quarter as easy as possible, and they'll hope to do it with a goal here. 30 seconds, Snell on the way. Snell the grittiest team in the IPL. Expect something big to come out of well, Speaking of gritty, here's Sammy Dubner. Creating chaos on the defense. And here comes Ashkelon. Is there enough time to get one more? Six seconds. Ah, but it's fumbled away. That was Newberg calling his own number. Got about three seconds, maybe three and change. Starot's in the quarter. Starot's going to go for the Gilman pass and see if they can get a weird one. Or maybe not. Seems like they're just going to hang on. And we move in to the fourth. Taking the first base off in the fourth quarter. Tepper versus Friedman. Been a close matchup so far. And the band knew it before all of us. This is the final countdown. One quarter of play left here in the Winter Bubble Championship Tournament. Horns blaring, stadium rocking, fans screaming, and two handsome broadcasters in the booth off camera, but you'll have to trust us. It's myself, Tyler Pepe, alongside Justin Gold, bringing you fourth quarter action of this championship contest. Stero puts the ball in the silver Lex hands. The big outside shooter. Yep, Yakov will look to create some offense. Shlomo with a huge GB. I'm surprised he wasn't called for a war. That was nearly a stiff arm at the 50 yard line. Here's Morty. 
with the flip to Flake. Oh, who loses his handle on the cross. You'd think that a two-armed player would have had that, maybe even a one-armed player. But Flake didn't have the chance. Let's see if he'll redeem himself. And he gets the pass. Oh, he absolutely does. I gotta tell you, Matt Flapin and I, we're uh, longtime pals off the field. We've known each other several years. And if I know Matt Flapin, that man's got no quit in him. He will try anything to get to the goal, to score. He's got a rig a shot up with gum or duct tape. Doesn't matter to him. He will do what it takes. Matt, the finisher, Flapin on that play. Matt Flapin, excellent play. You know, misses the first shot, takes the same shot again and buries it. That's determination and hard work right there. Big play by number three. And here's Harry Friedman with a faceoff win. Let's see if they can make another one. Uh, looks like a player was playing without getting the stick there, and we're going to go the other way. It's Nate LaPat with the wheels, flips to Chetner, backside Wolpert's wide open, and he gets stopped by Tunnelbaum. Absolutely knows where the ball's coming at all times, looks up a quick clear like we always talk about. Here comes this ball, and that's Dodge all the way through. It's going to be oh. Oh, almost. Almost a push through. Here's Friedman. Title bomb to Ratner. Go ahead, Justin. Oh, title bomb a huge save and an excellent outlet pass. Transition back the other way. And there's another up. stuff by Title Bomb. And a, finally, Wolpert gets a third one to go on and in through. Title bomb stood in her head all day for Sturo. Nothing she could do about that one. She's had an excellent fourth quarter thus far. Thoreau looks to come back from a three-goal deficit. As time ticks by, that three-goal lead is starting to feel a little ominous for the stuntmen. They're going to need another answer goal quick. Can't give enough credit to that Israel lacrosse pep man, can you, Justin? Real MVP of the game. Or perhaps the whole corner, the pep man. He's done an excellent job of fighting music. Uh, speaking of excellent job, Harry Friedman has dominated the face-off X today. Harry's played an incredible game. He's hoping to get a goal against his brother Ben Friedman. He's going for Ashley. sweeping. Doesn't find his man, but Flapin gets the GB. Flapin just eats a hard check. Ben Friedman in the Ashlon defense, trying to hold Sturrow back for this fourth quarter and capping off an undefeated season. Here's Chetner, looking poised and professional. Feeds one to Flapin, who makes an incredible goal. Three goals for number three, Matt Flapin. He's had an insane game. Really carrying the throw offense today. Well, and, and John Luke Chetner had the ball. He looked at the defense. He said, I dare you to take on me. And that distracted the D enough for Matt Flapin to sneak by and net yet another goal with 9 7 here in the fourth. The defense is so focused on guarding Chetner. Forget about the star Matt Flapin. He's had three goals today. And then also. Uh, Chetner's presence also leaves Yaku so really unguarded. And here's the faceoff again. Sussman playing the body. A violent rap by Nate LaPat. Lands somewhere on Sibler. Mortify at the X. Mortify rolls on Arik. Rubenstein. Rubenstein, former professional bodybuilder. Big force for the Ashcon defense. Absolute big force. Not the guy that you want to be alone in an alley with, Arik Rubenstein. A mean mug and a big body on that boy. And here's a rip from the point and Friedman stops it. Good save on Friedman by... And White will keep possession. It's John Luke Chetner with the ball on the reset. 
Silver looks at the ball at his feet. Steps over the six foot pole of Rubenstein. And it's Hodgby, let's rocket fly towards Friedman who stops at a near split save. Good kick save by Friedman. An athletic Playing big for Ashlong in this fourth quarter. A very athletic stop. Here's Seth Mahler carrying on to the offense for the first time this afternoon. And quickly gets the ball safely to check. Shlomo. Wolfer mishandles the ball. He's got a man on him and he gets back to LaPat. Ratner looking to the bench for direction. Here's Here's looking for possessed. Maintain their two goal lead and just make smart plays. LaPat looking to get high. Here's calling on the D. Oh, and he gets oh. beat. His ankle's broken. Flip to Charlie Ratner, who lets it sail wide. Great shot by Ratner. Well, with shots, with shots like that flying out of the park from Charlie Ratner, I hope you didn't drive to the stadium today, Justin, because your car might have gotten bought. Here's Chuck. Let's see if he can put one on cage this time. High pass to pet. Ball getting around. Incredible group with another rip. Talented players, great chemistry with one another, have to living together for the last three months. Now it seems like Chuck Ratner is willing to take possession shot after possession shot. You see two men stuck behind GLE. Right now it's one of them, Bo Chetner, around and he whips one off the helmet. Refs are going to call that a shot and that is going to stay with Black. John Luke Chetner on the far side of the field, nearly the closer man to the ball. A professional effort there by a serious athlete. But the ball will be stepped in here by the Ashbon Olives with a two goal lead in black. Short Here's Wolfert. Ashbon has to keep it in the box. Gains the road to defense and opportunities to press out. Wolfert doesn't like the V hole. LaPat loves his shot. Burn one. Dash on with yet another possession shot. Is that five possession shots in this take? Throws to look at their star defense on high ball and make a big turnover. If this one goes on oh, again, no, it doesn't. That's another blocked shot. And if it goes out of bounds, well, no, it'll be in the stick. Oh, that's huge. That was a massive goal. That looked like a late hit to us. Max Snow would be tough to swallow the whistle on a play like that. Man, what a huge, huge, punishing hit that was. And wow. Max Nelly Snellenberg has his biggest plays and his best moments. Excellent offensive yeah. player. Looks, looks like the lead to one. Looks like Snell is uh, gonna take a, a minute to gather himself after that one. That's the type of goal that you probably didn't feel it because the adrenaline of the ball passing by the goal line did everything for him, but man, did he get rocked on that play. I didn't even see who hit it. And Friedman gets it back, tries to score. Friedman with another. Harry Friedman's been a difference maker at the X. Just, just the could that have been Ari Rubenstein who laid him out that hard? I can't imagine it was anybody else. Now I got a chance to catch up with Ari before the game, and I told him, hey man, the scouting report on you is that nobody wants to take you. John Luke Chetner. Wow. The game tying goal. John Luke Chetner with up a Seth game tire. Absolutely. Chetner posts up Seth Mahler, scores inside pipe. Excellent shot. Shows why he's the best player on the throw offense. And that was the first goal in this tournament scored against Seth Mahler. Seth is an excellent defenseman. Chetner finally got the best of him. Throw to push this game through overtime for score late. After Black laid, got laid out, Harry Friedman is one of every faceoff during this fourth quarter. Really gave him the chance to win this one. 
Here, similar miss, handles a ball. It goes out of bounds. Unbelievable mistake here in a fourth quarter. Okay. Jeff Friedman on the sideline, and the stadium is going crazy here. LaPat. Good job by Trigiano. Good job by the Ashlaw defense. Staying calm while clearing on your Le pressure. That's one rip, and it's off the pipe. Snell is closest. Snellenberg steps in. He should have a quick reset. Oh, I'm not sure if we like the way that the referee called that one, but the ball is inserted back in the play. The road star powered offense looks like Here's a big, big, big huge pass to Matt Flapin, who lets one fly just past Ben Friedman will be Mortify Sobelik who hangs on to that possession for the Starode Stuntman. Starode the underdogs in this matchup. Fourth Keep quarter tie game, there's some, some tie ups. Off ball in the middle of the field. Was, wow, did you see that? Yakov Silverlich. The star he was pushed down to the ground off the play. The defender on the Ash one side turned his head, thought Silverlich was out of the play. Silverlich woke up, snuck one in and scored and sellied. I'm not sure exactly where he got that dance from. Maybe Fortnite. You'll have to ask him in the post game, and he could be walking away with an MVP if that ends up being a game winning goal. Stuntman, their star power on offense is unbelievable. They've really put themselves together in the last couple of games. Well, the Stuntmen now have their first lead since the opening goal of the first quarter. Simbler takes a shot to the face. Left, here's Tepper. Where the man on? Number 18, Tepper. Possession. Puts it on to back. Ashlon's gonna look to score quick. Here's Ratner. And the pass. Downhill on Hodgkin. Flips the temper. Oh, it's an answer goal, and that one was broken. Justin Tepper ah. shot. Beats Dylan Titlebaum. Ties the game up. 10 10. Unbelievable play. Harry Friedman and Justin Tepper face off for what could be the last face off of the game. And Justin Tepper let some smoke fly from deep. Purple there. And here's a flip out. It's a clean win by Friedman and White retains possession on this one. Elon Schuster with the ball. Pressured out by Flomo. Flomo throwing one too many checks and trailing. Schuster has the shot open, decides not to take it. Over the top We've got a tie game. 10-10. Fourth quarter championship contest. It's all going to come down to matchups like this between John Root, Chetner, and Seth Mahler. Mahler, one Boyd, minute left. Chetner, pushing. The opportunity to roll back. He's got an in on crease. It's Mordecai Silver, who gets stuck in his arch. Rubenstein is so cool in there. Crowd on their feet. Timeout. And that looked like it was a timeout call on the far side of the field. Uh-oh. All right, we're back on. And we are minutes. back after a timeout. Still not up in a tie-tie contest, 10-10. Take my camera out of there. Yeah, yeah, that. Just so we're ready, just in case. And there's the band having a little fun with this one. As Yako Tsuba oh, takes the inbound pass. Now it's Jack. Shetner <laughs> continuing to work. <laughs> Pierce, there's only 12 minutes left. Shetner, guarded by Mahler. Key matchup of the day. It's been a real battle. Hard to determine the winner. Let's see if Chetner gets creative here. 
looking for Amanda Baskin. Ashton slid to him early. Big, huge pass. Let's hope it's not over and back of yours for Road Fab. And it is, and it'll be Ashton ball. I think that that would have qualified as a delay of the game. If that were me, uh, Justin, I Time saw out. a ball picked up. All right, we're back. Ashton After ball. the timeout. Timeout. We are back in action here in Ashkelon. We are getting into the waning minutes of this contest. Tepper. Justin Tepper, starting top center. Still a little by offense. Ball down. It's Matt Flapin with the takeaway. It's going to overtime. Oh, that was the end of the game. This one is over and it is going into an extra period. All right, we are going to... Yeah, you guys are on. Overtime, and we are back here. The crowd is going wild because we are here in sudden death overtime. The culmination of months of hard work. It is a final finish. It will be a photo finish. A one goal victor will walk away from this game in seconds. Let's go live on the field. Biggest face off of the game right here. Final possession. And Friedman's got and it clean. Watch it to himself. Slapping it to play on. There was no possession. It's going to go back the other way for Black. It's the ball. It's the ball. Face by Morty. Slash. That's going to mean a man goes into the game. Stero defense is going to need to come up big here. That was a tough one to swallow. Just the immediate penalty that came out of that. First goal wins. Yes, we're here in sudden death. Charlie Rathner. Looks to get the game winner on his birthday. Here's Tepper. I like how this game just comes down to like who's going to play on Cook. the floor. Like, Let's go, Cook. Cook. Tepper. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 
And Waller walks it over and Black calls town. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. All right, we're back. After the timeout, Ash Waller calls. Set up their all the time. Ball. Ball. Set up their all the time. Ball's in the middle. Next goal wins. Here's Ash Long's Evan Wolpert at the top. Does he want to take? He'll flick to and Cookie Cook. Cook carries down to the X. Here's Chetner. Then LaPat. And Tepper. Does Tepper want to take? Flips back to Ratner, who sees Wolpert. Wolpert puts it back to Cookie. Sees someone backside. It's Ratner deciding not to run one fly and get to the fat uh, the top of the offensive box. Now Tepper working north south. Liking his option. <laughs> Ashland's going to need to bury one or they might lose a man going back in the other direction. Here's Ratner with all the grit and grind you can muster. He wants to rip one. He does. Goes out of bounds. It's the rope ball. Kai Solomon, known to do it all by himself, but throws it up to Yako Silverlick. Silverlick to Flavin. Flavin rips. Looks like we've got a, oh. a stoppage in play. I'm not exactly sure what the referee I think it's the end of the overtime. That was, in fact, the end of the overtime. <laughs> the end favorite sound guy. Again. Yep, we're back. After some big plays in the first overtime, Harry Friedman wrote, wrote up the story on Saskatchewan to win this one as the underdog. Here's the face off, Harry Friedman, Justin Tupper. Let's go, Harry! Friedman knows he's got it. Looking for his man. One by and Friedman. And it cleanly to Flapin. Flapin walking down. Flapin. Almost swam Ratner. Ratner's kind of a tall guy to try and swim. I think that's why Flapin didn't go for it. Here's Chetner working on Moller. Chetner sees a pick. Oh, there was a flip opportunity. Well, Chet put it in. Not from the X. Here's Flapin. Backside, but they'll work it up top. Here's Sindler. Sindler taking a run. Mortify Silver. All the way up to Yakov Silver. He takes a north south run. It's a dodge. Is it going to come through and. Oh! Off the pipe. If it wasn't off the pipe, we're going to have to go to the replay. said about lacrosse here this afternoon. Harrison Stembler, no one thought it'd be him. Unbelievable goal. You know, underhand, clutch shot, beats Ben Friedman, and Stero goes from 0-5 to IPLL champs. What an unbelievable finish to an unpredictable game and an unpredictable Pepe. year. An historic Our finish, commentator. an historic <laughs> season. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen watching at home, it has been my greatest honor to serve as your play-by-play -play broadcaster for these last four weeks. And best believe we'll be doing it again in the 2021 Winter Bubble. See you next year. Same time, same place. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> Woo! All right, I think that's a pretty that good way crazy. to end. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye.